In this sample, we're doing a bubble sort, and a bubble sort basically takes the values in an array and it bubbles up to the top, the lower value, like an A, and puts the bigger values or greater values, like Z, at the bottom. So we have a simple class called bubble sort, and we have a public static void main. And in case you never noticed, notice we have string with square brackets and args. So this main takes in an array of strings, which are uh, command line parameters. So we come down here, we declare an array called um, sName, and it's a string array, because string, square brackets, which means we're not specifying a length, and we say sName. And in this case, we're doing it a little different than we did before. We actually list the value. So you can see that we have Brian, Joseph, Daniel, Liza, Brad, Zoe, Lewis, and Lorraine. So we have eight values that are string, and we put them into this array. So we don't have to give it a number of elements, because it can determine that from the number of values we have. And remember, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So what we basically do is we put out to the screen the array before we sort it. And we'll go look at the display array method shortly. And in here, we actually sort the names. So I'm just going to kind of position just so, so we can see all the values. And we'll go up a little bit. All right, so what we do is we start at zero. And this is a lot like the prime number program you coded. And we go to um, less than the length. So from zero through seven, and we increment. Then we go into an inner loop, and we compare um, the next value in the array. So this is um, zero, and zero plus one is Joseph. So what we do is we compare Brian to the value of Joseph. And if Brian is greater than Joseph, we basically swap them. But in this case, we can see Brian is not greater than Joseph. So we continue through in this inner loop, comparing Brian to Daniel, Brian to Liza, Brian to Brad. And you can see that Brian is greater than Brad in this example. So what happens is we take Brad and put it in a temporary storage variable. We take the value of Brian and put it where Brad was. And then we take Brad and put it to where Brian was. So we swap them. And then we keep comparing. And then when we come back out, we come up. And now we're on to Joseph, and we compare them to each of the values. And then again, we call the display array method to show the arrays. And if you look in here, it's pretty standard. We take in a string array. We start at zero, go one less than the length, or less than. Don't do a less than or equal to, and it won't work. And notice we say the name of the array, dot length, tells us how many, and we put it out to the screen. So let's see what happens. Let's do a quick compile, and we're going to ignore this. And then we're going to run it. And you can see this is the order that they were declared in. And we can see Brad's first, then Brian, Daniel, and so on and so forth. 